Hey, I'm Carrie, a certified health and nutrition coach from Disruptive Nutrition. Are you ready to disrupt everything you think you know about nutrition? Our mission is to disrupt the idea that we need to diet and deprive ourselves in order to be healthy and lose weight. We help clients learn simple, sustainable, and satisfying concepts to reach their goals. I am psyched that you are joining me today to learn the exact concepts I teach to the clients I coach. I believe everyone should have access and opportunity to the information, which is why I'm providing it to you here for free. I believe if everyone knows this information, it can literally change the future of our health epidemic in this country. So let's do this. By the end of this video series, you will know why diets work for the short term, but will always end up failing us for the long term and actually impact our health negatively for years to come. You will learn the secrets to boosting your metabolism and how to use food to fuel you, which will result in added energy, reducing your risk of long-term diseases, as well as shredding unwanted weight and gaining lean muscle. In the next few videos, I will teach you what you should be doing instead, all the while being able to model appropriate eating habits for your kids. Sound too good to be true? I promise you it isn't. So let's first talk about why diets don't work for the long term and how very likely little things that you think are healthy habits may actually be sabotaging your goals. Dieting is one of the worst things we can do for our body. But first, let's get on the same page about what I mean by dieting and what it actually is. Diets have convinced people to believe that if they simply take in less calories than they burn, they'll lose weight. So if you've ever counted a calorie or a point, you will know what I'm talking about. Here's the thing, it will work. It will work in the short term, which is why you've seen diets work at some point in your life. However, what's happening in our body is that it's reacting to the decreased food intake and letting go of a little bit of stored fat, but it's really letting go of fat in your muscles. And that is not where we wanna lose it. And this is why we're cranky when we're in a diet why we have a lack of energy and feel like we crave certain foods even more than before. And even worse, because you're depriving your body of nutrients, your metabolism starts to slow down. And because of this, over time, you can eat exactly the same thing that you were eating a few weeks ago and suddenly start gaining weight again. So think of it like the first time you may have had a beer. The first one may have made you feel tipsy, right? But over time, it took two or three to have that same effect on you. Diets are like that. At first, your body will react to a diet and allow you to lose weight, but eventually, your body will start to slow down. Its metabolism will start to try to make up for the caloric deprivation, and that you'll have to start eating less and less to keep losing weight because your metabolism is so slow. That's why diets have failed you over the years. It wasn't you, it was them. The key is to actually use food to fuel you. Just like we need gas in our tank to run our cars efficiently, we need to keep our bodies fueled. So by eating small meals every three hours throughout the day, your body eventually learns I know I'm gonna get fed again in three hours, so I'm gonna just take what I need and let go of what I don't. When you were depriving your body of calories or ever starving yourself before a big meal, your body got confused and reacted by holding on to food and turning it into stored fat because you scared it into thinking it doesn't quite know when it will get it again. So the first step towards disrupting your nutrition involves Eating more food. Eat within an hour of waking up and then eat every three to four hours from that point forward. What should you eat? How much should you eat? Great questions. I can tell you salads and what I like to call rabbit food won't cut it. We are going to start to dive in to exactly how much and what you should be eating in our next video.